Have you ever stopped to consider how many things you have started in life but never finished? Don't do it right now because you probably won't have time to finish. You see what I did there? Over the course of our lifetime, I think we've all started doing some kind of project or hobby or health plan or reading plan or financial plan. I mean, the list is endless. But as we've all experienced, starting and finishing are two completely different things. This is the time of year where we often make a commitment to start something we hope will make life better. And I'm all for it. I actually believe the natural rhythms of seasons and calendar years is God's grace for us to start afresh, to change, to stop some old things that are not helpful to life and spiritual flourishing, and to start some new things. So when it comes to our spiritual lives, there will be a litany of things that we start and stop in order to keep doing the one thing that matters the most, and that is keeping the faith. That is what the Apostle Paul says in 2 Timothy 4 when he talks about how he finished his race. He said, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Keeping the faith to me means finishing this life with our trust in God and our commitment to his word intact. I mentioned in a recent sermon, many people start, few people finish. Let's just go ahead and admit that seeing something through to the end is hard, but particularly when we're talking about our faith in Christ. We can go from believing God for great things one moment to wondering if we are even saved or want to be the next. This is where perseverance comes in, and by God's grace, if we will persevere, we will not only finish the race of faith, but be changed in the process. This is nothing new. Jesus' disciples were called to believe in Jesus enough to follow him, I think we can agree it takes some level of belief in Jesus to drop whatever you're doing and just follow him wherever he goes. But that's the startup belief. And as you trace the disciples' spiritual journey throughout the Gospels, you see they continually have to have their faith strengthened. They needed to believe more so they could trust more, and this would result in an ever-deepening faith that would strengthen them to not give up, particularly in times of trouble, but to finish. Jesus' first public miracle of turning the water into wine did exactly this for the disciples who were with him at that time. Yes, they had enough faith to believe and to follow, but they needed their faith strengthened to continue to follow, and that's exactly what our loving Savior did for them. Scripture says they saw the miracle and they believed. I don't think this was startup belief. This was a continuing on belief. This was a moment of their faith being deepened. I want to encourage you that your loving Heavenly Father will help strengthen your faith throughout your lifetime. He will use whatever it takes to help you know that He is real and that He is with you always till the end of the age. He will do so because He is good, loving, and kind. So be committed to finishing your race of faith. Ask God to take your startup belief and continue to mature it into a finishing belief. Of course, there will be plenty of things that you don't finish in this lifetime, and that's okay. There will be things that you need to stop even now, and God will help you if you ask. But most importantly, there is a goal to continue to press towards, and that is to live a life that is pleasing to God all the days of your life. I pray 2023 is a year of favor, grace, and strength as you run the race of faith with Christ and you finish well.